friends, it is Tanya and today I am going to be sharing a Goodwill haul with you guys. So I did find some cards. Now I know my friends over at Thriftmine have had really good luck with buying cards at garage sales, uh, Ryan and Pam, and sometimes they can go for a lot of money. But I'm not even really sure exactly which ones these are, but I got three big bags like this and I paid I think six nine two or six ninety nine. I think one was five ninety nine. But I thought that and this, this is what they are. I have no idea. I have to look up this. I haven't even looked looked at it yet. But I thought that this one kind of looked like did that kind of look like an anime character? It's got a nasty hair on it or something that's stuck up in the price. But yeah, craft craft fight vanguard. So golly, a ton of them. So maybe, uh, maybe I'll do a whole separate video on these if they end up being worth something. I don't really know anything about them. But it's always fun to go through stuff like that, right? And then here's the other bag. There's one on the end. Let's see what it says. Uh, medical officer at the Rainbow Elixir. Hmm. <laughs> So, I don't know, maybe these are naughty cards. They can't be that naughty. I don't know, here's another one. But I guess I'll break open to those in a separate video. Let me know if y'all are interested in seeing these up close and all the different ones. If you guys are, I'll do a whole separate video on it. But yeah, three big bags of that. Um, and then this is super cute. Now I've got this planter before this little kitty cat here and it didn't have this piece in there. This is like, I don't know, like the first one that I got without this piece, I just uh, sold it as a planter and um, put it in my antique booth. I paid $2.99 for this one. I'll probably put um, $14.99 on this and sell it in one of my booths. So I don't know what you, you could even put like pens or pencils or maybe some makeup stuff, uh, some lipsticks or eyeliners or something in there. Isn't it cute? So that, I love picking up the animal stuff whenever I see it. So let me put this thing away so I don't break it. Um, this is also really cool. I paid up for this. So it's $16.99 is what I paid, but they're a bunch of Hummel ornaments, uh, MJ Hummel ornaments, and they're in the shape of a star. So I'm going to open these up, and they all look to have their certificate of authenticity, but that's what they look like. There's a bunch of different ones. So, I'm sure there's a theme to this. I don't know. I haven't read yet. There's another one. And I did try to look it up. It didn't seem like there was that many of them. Um, and then here's their certificates. It says, for Sister Maria Innocentia Hummel, the children of her native Bavaria were a constant source of joy and she celebrated that joy in her immortal works of art. Her creations have warmed the hearts of millions for more than half a century and are sought after by collectors around the world. Publishers Clearinghouse Collectibles is privileged to offer. Okay, so this must be a Publishers Clearinghouse uh, thing that they offered. So I don't know if it's worth anything. I know I'll at least get back $16.99 out of all these ornaments. So hopefully a lot more. We'll just, I'll just have to do some more research. Let's see, so those. Oh, and these are super cute. These little uh, poodles here, they're like little bookends. And I paid $2.99 for these. And it looks like you can maybe put like a little pin down here in each one of them but these are really adorable I just love these so 
I'll definitely be taking these to my antique booth. I love it when the people that check me out take the time to wrap these. Sometimes they just throw them back and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna end up breaking that. Oh, look at these little um, Dutch Hound dogs. Little wiener dogs. I paid $1.99 for both of them. They're salt and pepper shakers. And they're magnetic. The little nose is magnetic. So I guess whenever you set them up, I'm not going to mess with them right now because it's all taped up. But I guess, you know, they stay together like they're kissing. It's so cute, huh? Love these. So I've not really been finding a lot of bigs. I definitely always find a lot of smalls for my antique food, but um, as far as the bigs, I haven't really been finding anything, you know, stellar. Of course, I haven't been garage selling for the past two weekends. So any kind of videos that I'm putting out that you're seeing this week and last week are all old footage. But hopefully I'm gonna be able to get out this, this coming weekend. I mean, it's just been raining so much for like three weeks nonstop here in Houston. Um, I personally love the rain, but um, it is nice to catch a break. So, and then I picked up this little guy here. He was $1.99. I know this is terrible, but I know nothing about this. <laughs> I'm probably going to use the Google lens to figure it out. But I'm thinking something to do with football because he's holding a football there. But when these bobbleheads, whenever I see them, I pick them up if they're not too much because they're really fun and... I mean, there's got to be somebody who wants this guy, right? <laughs> somebody who collects it. So this, I oh, hear that thunder. This might end up going on eBay. So let's see what else I got. Oh, this little kitty cat. How cute is this little figurine? Oh, it's starting to rain. I was just talking about rain. And then on the bottom, it's got a little N and it's circled. So I'm sure that stands for some some kind of maker's mark and this might have been part of something else because there's the hole right here i'm not sure but it was only 99 cents and this is new goodwill having these purple stickers i just you know noticed that for the first time this week i've never seen goodwill have purple stickers but yeah they've added another color into the mix but super cute little cat here sticker in my booth somebody will not be able to live without her, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, let's see what else I got here real quick. So do all that. That. Okay, just a couple more things. So I picked up some Snow Babies by Department 56. These are, this one says Winter Tales of the Snow Babies. I've never seen the snow babies come in a like, like a book like this before. But there's two little snow babies in there. Anytime I've ever picked them up, they've always just been loose. Um, but this is nice to have them here in a package. It says snow babies. Once upon a time in a far off wintry land, Jack Frost grew lonely and took the task to hand. He used his magic powers and smiled when he, when he was through. For what he'd made were snow babies a joy for me and you on tiny sleds they slide down icy hills they go they laugh and sing together and they frolic in the snow and while they're busy playing throughout the frosty day they hope the winter sunshine won't melt them all away <laughs> how cute is that so um i don't know i'll probably look online first to see if these are worth anything on ebay um, if they work a decent amount, I might just sell them on eBay just because it'd be so easy to ship them because they're already in the box like this. Um, if not, you know where they're going to go. Probably to my antique booth. Um, and then, you know, I just always pick up animal stuff. I love it. So I thought somebody would like this little cat. It's like made of enamel. And I paid only 99 cents for it. But I thought somebody might like to have this. Maybe... I know some people have um, bunnies as pets, so this might be a cute little thing to have to decorate with. I put a picture of your bunny in there. Um, but yeah, super cute. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was this like cowbell. I know um, 
sometimes these can be definitely worth a lot of money. So, and even if they do have the country on there like that. So, um, yeah, I only paid 99 cents for it. So this will probably definitely be an eBay item um, just because I feel like they're, you know, it might sell. We'll see. I have to do some research first. Okay, so my mind went blank a second ago when I was telling you guys about these bills. So my friend Trish, she's had lots of luck selling these for in the past and that's actually how I found out, you know, about them and to pick them up whenever I see them. So I will um, put her picture up here so that you guys can on Instagram. Always check out her stories. Oh my gosh, it's raining so hard. Do you hear that thunder? Because check out her stories because she is an awesome reseller. Like she's like a baller. She always sells stuff. I mean, she finds amazing stuff and sells it for a really, really good profit. So um, she's definitely one to follow. So thanks Trish for telling me about this. All right, bye everybody. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little Goodwill uh, haul and uh, be sure and subscribe if you haven't already and give the video a like and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.